go talk to their girlfriends, their boyfriends. Take that back. <laughs> their girlfriends, you know, their friend friends. If they need to talk, they got a lot of resources to know. talk to. Don't talk to me about nothing, especially Nancy. Now, let me ask you a question. Does this continue when you're in a relationship, though? It can limit when I'm in a No, 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 no. Because this is, let me say this. Let me say this. Because I've been there. So I've been there for real. For me, um, I feel up. that even like, let's say I, I was with somebody. Let's say I'm dating someone mm -hmm. and they have a, a, the, the mother of their children and they're, you know, trying to co-parent with them. I expect mm -hmm. for them to have some type of communication the least friendship the most with that parent mm -hmm. because relationship with you i need to know that you and her are good i need to know that you and her can communicate you guys <laughs> can meet up behind my back and not thinking that y'all gonna be hunching because sometimes whenever Y'all have all these underlining emotional issues. When y'all do get together, that's when the fire do spark the most because y'all hate each other so much. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Don't worry. I'll keep you at bay. I wouldn't touch you with a foot Those are the ones you watch the most. They're like, I hate you, I hate you, I hate you. And as soon as they get together, it's like, boom. Mm -mm. <laughs> but no, I do. I want them to have some type of friendship. Who, your with... significant other and your... Your BD, your baby daddy? It, vice versa. Vice versa. Rather, if I am the one that's in a relationship, I would expect that my mate, that my man, understand that, okay, she has children with th these men, and she has to be in communication with them. Of and course. And if they have... If they talk a little friendlier than they than they sh than they would, then it is truly platonic. Because for me, again... My man has to be a man that understands Ooh. me, Jesus. understands how I communicate, Jesus. understands how I, <laughs> the bottles in the front, girl. Oh, Jesus. But yes, I, th that man has to understand me and know how I communicate. Once he can understand mm -hmm. me and trust me mm -hmm. on how I communicate, then I don't think he'll have a problem mm -hmm. because I expect the same from him. Mm -hmm. I expect him to be able mm -hmm. to call his the mother of his children and said, "Hey, you mm -hmm. know, little Tommy, little Tommy, been acting bad, mm -hmm. and we really need to talk about Tommy. Tommy. What are you doing tomorrow at ten o'clock? We need to sit down with Tommy and have a meeting with Tommy. Uh huh. Like him, her, and Tommy sit down and have oh, a meeting. Yeah, and I for it, that and too. for that to be good for me, for me to be like, all right, you know what? Go handle little Tommy situation and trust him that." I they just gonna be so handling speak. Tommy's situation. Go ahead and speak. So bet. <laughs> Y'all thought my five minute limit <laughs> was bad. Watch me in a relationship. It's it's worse. It's yeah. What happened? Bet. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, 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 no, listen, listen, listen. No. For me, like I said, I could only speak for who? For you. For <laughs> me. I have this thing with um, respect and disrespect, and I, although I know I, my mate, I will make sure or I will work or strive, whatever I have to do to get my mate to understand that I am trustworthy enough to speak to my child's father without any extraness or relations or whatever the case may be. Right. Although I know I'm going to do that. And although I know he will trust me in doing just that, I can have a conversation in front of him as well as behind him, and he will know it. Uh -huh. I, for the sake of me, now I got somebody, you, not, you got somebody else to talk to? I got somebody else to talk to now. Baby, listen. Now it really becomes, even if it was a good morning, you probably won't even hear the good morning. It's, hey, Brielle is, or hey, Brian is, all right, bet, peace. Like, I don't, That's so... listen, 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 listen. I could only talk for myself, y'all. I could only talk for myself. I don't know. Because for me, it's a matter of respect. Like, I feel as though, and it's not for every man. Every man has their different ways of moving or whatever the case may be. But for me, okay, for instance, when I, ha when I had Brian. Okay, let me ask you this, because maybe oh. I think that's where you're going to. Like, what are some reasons you think parents cannot 
co-parent. They be stepping out the boundaries. Like they cannot. They be stepping out of boundaries. They be wanting to take that foot when you only giving them that inch. They be want- when I was married to oh I hope none of them pop in. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you put me on blast, Daddy. I'm putting my own self on blast. I hope none of them pop I'm popping. When I was um when I had Brian and I was married or whatever, mm-hmm. there I, I'm assuming there was some lingering situations going on with the BD. This was before Bria. This was before my second born. So one day I don't know, and this is how you get that foot inch situation. I was trying to be like co parenty and you know, hey, how are you? Da 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 da. You know, Brian, 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 you know, mention my son, Brian, 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 whatever. And then what ended up happening out of the blue while I'm cooking, my ex husband's walking around, my phone buzzes, and I'm just cooking and da 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 da. And then boom, my husband takes my phone, which I have no problem. That's right. my phone. He's accessible to my phone or whatever. And he looks at a text. And the text states, I had a dream about you and da 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 and this, that, and the other. But you didn't set the boundary. I know I did. He, come on. Come on. The boundaries were set. Ness, you knew the boundaries were set. You can't even say I didn't set the boundaries. You knew the boundaries were set. He was, so, he, he had a dream. I said, when, when first of all, he was I didn't even know, who, I don't know who texted me I, because I didn't pick up my phone. My hand was chicken deep. Cleaning me. He had a dream. <laughs> and that one day, my ex bust out. What the <laughs> hell is this? And I'm like, bruh, I don't know what you're looking at. Could you read out loud? I don't know. Uh, 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 <laughs> Hold uh, on, y'all uh, need uh, to uh, chime me in because I'm uh, single father uh, and both my baby mama's co parent. Uh, See? Uh, uh, uh. And I'm like, <laughs> I didn't even know. I was like, me? What? Hold on. What I do? What I, what I do? What I, what I, what I, so he said, look what he texts. And I'm like, I'm skimming up. Sir. And Ooh. as soon as I got to the period at the end of the sentence, my heart dropped. Bloop. I said, I don't know. I don't know. That was his dream. That was him. It wasn't me. It was him. It was him. It was him. It wasn't was me. But regardless, like this is so, the part like I want to say, regardless, me, if you, you were that. with him, you the no qual, if you were him. not with him regardless whatever it is if there is an attraction there's gonna be an attraction regardless he's gonna send that message rather you ask him to be friends whether you ask him to be cordial rather you ask him to no, be see, baby daddy if, because rather if, no, if nasty, i didn't say hello how are you how is your day okay you good okay now time to talk that don't about happen her. to me see no see 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 no your situation i can tell you your situation and your situation is not too far from this <laughs> But it's not there. It's not here, but it's not too far. <laughs> it's not there because there's a line. You just, you, you have to separate. You have to give that line. Okay, this is the goal. This is what we're doing. This is where we're going. This is what we're doing this for. Now, don't pass this. I don't want this because that. And if he were to come out of pocket mm-hmm. to make a statement like I had a dream. Bruh, and it was a, you know, bruh, he, man, he you got to be like, yo, the- listen, you can't be doing can't be saying that. Uh, Farrah says, when they still got feelings for you and they talk like Nancy and be all friendly, they will come for you without sending for you, um, without you sending for them. Girl, I agree. That is true. That is Um, so true, Farrah. I agree, Jenny. See? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. It's true. Like, but that's, that's when you have to set the boundaries because what happened is you will be like, okay, you'll be like, well, you know, we are friends. Hold on. One, two, three. Hi, Hi, mommy. (laughs) my mom just jumped on guys but yeah you have to set the boundaries again because you are friends that doesn't mean you give them the go ahead to disrespect your relationship and that's to disrespect you but that's the thing and that's what i'm saying that's what i was talking about where you give them an inch they take a foot they feel as though they they feel as though they feel as though no they feel as though okay so jenny or or okay so nancy saying hey how you doing that means she interested in finding out what my day is so let me go ahead and shoot my shot you feel me like that's how it feels women always want to be business minded uh, when it comes down to kids I can't speak for all women, but baby, let me go to my filing cabinet and pull out these charts because you're doggone right. I will be business minded 
Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. You, 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 okay? These are finances. Let me see your financial portfolio, okay? This, these yeah, are the talking I, I get it, Farrah. Like, I get it. We can't stop them from being... Um, you know, attractive. Keep in mind, this is not only See? men. Good. This is not only men. Women also do this, right? Women also do this. Women also are, you know, shooting shots at their mates. But this is the Hold part up. that I want to. Uh, oh, I, this no. is the part I want to make. Uh, the point know. that I want to make. People will do it regardless if you are nice, if you're not nice, if you are this, if you're. As long as they have that that connection with you, which is that child. As long as they have that child with you. If they, they feeling feel, sporty, if they feeling froggy, then they're they, gonna leave. If they wake up that morning, they're like, man, let me see what she about. You know, and they, they will send that text message. They will mm -hmm. send now that's when you just gotta check them. You gotta be like, yo, homie, like what the hell's wrong down. with you? Like, we're not there. Hold and up, then Farrah. the next day you call them, you say, Good morning, how are you? You were you sick yesterday? Cause I saw a text that you sent me. That was out of bounds, homie. Like you check them. Farrah, bruh. Itchy and sweaty was not just all I was. It, you know, when you're holding your, your, your bowel movement so long, and then finally you see a bathroom close but not too close, and you're trying to stretch your way. That's how I felt, like bricks, y'all. Miss right. me? What Hi. are some other reasons other than them shooting their shots at each other that would make a parent not being able to co-parent? The communication, the way that they communicate, if they're consistently arguing, if they're consistently in cahoots where it's a back and forth, they told what, like, like, like how they say, they told what, mm -hmm. they fighting all the time, busting it all the time, like, da, 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 da. like they can't have a, a stable conversation um, that, that could last freaking two minutes without them going back I and agree. forth. That's, that's uh, one reason why people won't co-parent. Yeah, I think really well, another reason is because they are jealous that they can no longer be in your life. Like the fact that, if, especially if it was a breakup, where two scenarios. One, where the breakup was nasty and they just had to break up, but they don't really want you to be happy. So they use the child as a way mm -hmm. to, you know, to like really not allow you to, to, to be good, to be great to your children. So that can be another reason. And the second would be, let's say that that child was born in a relationship that was not supposed to take place, like a unfaithful relationship mm. or a relationship out of, where yeah, out of wedlock, where there was a, some kind of affair well, that happened. Yeah. The child was born outside of a marriage or something mm. like that. That could be another reason, reason why yeah. it's hard to co-parent that, that it would be, I you know, agree. it would be hard. So for people that are dealing with that type of issue, what would you say? You just named like three. Okay, so the first, <laughs> okay, let's just say the first where the parents um, were got together through an, ad an adulterous act. So it was an outside child. It was from an outside relationship. The, the man was married, the woman was married, but the child was born, so now they have to figure it out. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all, y'all married, y'all keep y'all married, so to y'all married husbands and y'all married wives, so things like this don't pop off, okay? <laughs> That's first advice, but if it already doesn't happen, yeah, right, um, right? I would say, regardless of the situation, child was not asked to be here. The child was brought in, so guess what? Now you got to get your grown drawers on, make the fun garçon sous, how you say that, put your girl and your boy on? <laughs> Your grown draws on. Put your big, big boys big and big girl on. panties on and, and underwears on and deal with it head forward. Like, the child didn't ask to be here. Right. So, you have to treat it accordingly. Yet, yeah, it's going to be a, a very, very fragile situation. It's going to be a, a, a very tender situation. I agree. But, that's what you signed for when you went ahead and went and get some tender and fragile loving. <laughs> outside so, the house. Outside the house. So you're going to have to kind of eat that up. Hopefully your significant other or whatever the case may be, if that's a good person and they want to forgive you, mm -hmm. then you have that forgiveness. But other than that, unfortunately, now you have this other person that you have to deal with for the next 18 plus years. Um, because of this child. Yeah. So you got to yeah. eat it. Because of your actions, really. Because of you. It's yeah. not because of the child. Okay, the child so doing. now, what would you think would be for someone that really 
they don't really have a problem co-parenting, but because they can't have the man or they can't have the woman or they cannot be in a relationship with that person, like that's the reason why they don't want to co-parent. What would be like your advice? Y'all so salty. <laughs> <laughs> why y'all so salty? Listen, if you can't have the man or you can't have the girl, so now you just don't want to be in the situation or y'all don't or you don't want to raise your kids because you can't have the woman or you can't man get your life yeah get Not your life so much that like i said no get your say for the people in the back get your life in the light <laughs> get your life <laughs> I'm, I'm saying get your life because at the end of the day it's it's not about if you're with the other person and not or not you're punishing more mm -hmm. than just the person mm -hmm. you got children that are being terrorized I want to say terrorized because it's that bad mm -hmm. it's not even it's not even a small situation it's terrorist you're a ter you're a terrorist <laughs> you are a terrorist <laughs> when you decide to neglect things that uh, people oh, young oh people God. small people that are that I are of yours that's yours I you agree. neglecting, because you're the separating. Thing is that, come on, the get kids your are the ones that are suffering. The they're, kids are the ones and that gonna are grow up. the hit. They're because gonna grow up really, to have truly, silent sufferings. Um, they're, gonna, they're gonna develop this mindset. The person that you're being, Ooh, you, you think you're being bitter to, and I want to make this specific, you know, to those that this is tailored for, because this happens so much more than we know. Like we'll have that person, okay, oh, you don't want to be with me? Oh, all right, cool then. Then you take you and your kid, you you just do your thing. And you say you and your kid like you and your kid. <laughs> it's right. not your kid. Yeah, they're not your kids. You and your kid can go, you know, you don't want to be with me, then that's cool. Then I'm going to go my way. You and your kid go your way. You a big old and terrorist. what happened is you think that you're hurting the, the mom part, or the, the dad? dad? You're not. Because guess what? The mom and the dad living their best life. They don't move on, boo -boo. They living it. I'm living my best life. <laughs> They're gonna move on. Gonna, gonna, They're gonna, going gonna, to find gonna. what they want. They're gonna. The parent is going to be okay. The one that's going to be in lack is the that children. child. Is or the, the are, the are the children? Yes, those are the I ones can't. that's going to take the hit. So Who my advice it? to Yo, you, I don't know. And then you know what they're gonna do, Nancy. You know what I hate when they do. Oh Lord, that's let me tell you what I hate when they do, Nancy. Tell me what they, do. they don't want nothing to do with their child, right? Up until they see the next dude being daddy. come and be the best daddy, get the best daddy, or when they see the next woman come and see the come and be the best mama that these children could ever have. Then all of a sudden, oh no, I gotta be here. Oh no, I gotta or, be present. Oh no, my face gotta be seen. Oh no, I gotta put Facebook and Instagram posts of the of three weeks ago when I was with them today because those are the only pictures I, I left. Oh no, baby. Listen, do me a favor. If you're gonna disappear, disappear net. <laughs> Don't just disappear big toe and leave your whole foot. Yeah, because again, mm. while you think you're hurting the parent, you're not. You're not. You're not. You're, not. you're really doing damage, especially when the kids are little. In the age of toddler, when they are just children, that is such a crucial age such a crucial time yeah. that's when they're learning about who you are daddy that's when they're learning about who you are mommy they're learning that's about the roles learning about of love mom. that's when their character that, their, exactly their, who they are their identity is being formed so if they're not finding out at that age that i love you know my mama loved love. me mm -hmm. my daddy loved me they want the best for me they think i'm strong they think i'm gorgeous they think i'm you know like i attended a parental class um yesterday Yesterday. Yes, I did. Yeah, yesterday, and um, with um, with, with uh, Apostle Alberry, um, Daryl Alberry, great teacher, guys. If you ever see another post, do Ooh, attend. Ooh. <laughs> you got a yes, Lord, yes. <laughs> so truth, baby, truth. So attend that if you do ever get a chance as parents. But you know, he said something that was very crucial. We at time want to build our children thinking that what we give is enough where we do not build who they are. We do not build their identity. Mm -hmm. And it is in their identity that they know who they are. It's not your financial um, support. It's not your child support. It's not you picking them up one time on Friday just to take them to the movies and drop them back with your mama. Right. No, they need to know who they are by how you treat 
treat them, daddy. They need to know who they are by how you teach them to be a woman, mommy. Yeah. Okay? So play a role in their life, especially if they are young. Those are the crucial, crucial ages for you to do that. So co-parenting is like... You can let them go by the time they're 18, you get about your business, you exactly, go. Exactly, but do but your job. each age, each time, you, it's a different age for them to, to learn something new. In the elementary age, they're learning about who they are, their identity. They're learning about, okay, am I smart? Am I intelligent? Am I beautiful? For what do I have going? That's the age that they're learning about who they are, you know? And then they're going to middle school. Now, this is when they start smelling themselves. Hmm. And they stay middle school. They start. They they think they know who they are already. They think they could go ahead and do whatever they want, live whatever they want, live in their bed. They start to live their best life at middle school. That's when you gotta catch them. So when you are co-parenting and you're not active in their lives in those two levels, elementary age and middle age. Oh, honey, boo boo. By the time they get to high school, you by ain't the time be able to tell them not, gonna, What you gonna tell them? They're going to be looking at you like, where you been all my life? All my life, I had to fight. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. And another reason, another reason why people can't, we're still on that. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, another reason why people um can't co-parent is because they feel like they can be both parents in that one child's life. Uh, they can play both mommy and daddy role. Mm, that's deep. Let me tell y'all something. That's deep. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Mm -hmm. And if you think as a mom mm -hmm. that you can do what a dad is supposed to do, wrong. Then you ain't you ain't grow enough in life yet. Wrong. If you as a father think that you could do what a mom is supposed to do, dead wrong. You ain't grow up just as yet to that pinnacle of a, a level where you 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 know you woke. Exactly. <laughs> you ain't woke. If you still Posting up as a mom, happy Father's Day to me. To me. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> you ain't woke yet. You ain't you ain't all the way woke yet. Right. If you sitting there saying, I could do it by myself, mommy and daddy. You ain't I, woke. This, this is the advice I would give to you. Because it, it's one thing when we think that. But a lot of people do not give you um, an, an exit. They do not give you a situation for you to exit out of that mindset. Okay? <laughs> Shanae, hold, that hold on. We're going to answer that. With that mindset, when you are a mother and you think you can play both mommy and daddy role, this is what you do. What you teach your children is that mm -hmm. a, a, a man structure is not needed in their life. So when they actually go out there in the street and a man is trying to mold them and teach them how to be a man and teach them how to be strong, guess what? They will think that that structure is not necessary. So they can either do two things, bypass it or neglect it. But they will not accept it because you taught them that mommy can do it all. Me... Or vice versa. Hold on, my sister. Or vice versa. She my sister me. Oh, Jesus. Where... A, a, a dad think, okay, well, I'm raising my daughter. I will teach her how to be a woman. You cannot teach a woman how to be a woman if you're not a woman. Even at times, woman, as a woman, we still cannot teach our daughters how to be a woman if we were not raised to be a woman. The same thing with being a man. Ooh. Okay? So when we decide that we're going to, to claim to be both mommy and daddy in our children's life, what we're doing, we're shortchanging them. So this is my advice to you, my sister, that is a, a single mother like I am. I'm a single mom of five right now, right? So my advice is involve your children in the atmosphere, especially the boys where men are involved. Put them in oh, sports. Shanae, Put them she's in answering your question. You need is to that, specify. Is that what it is? Okay, so put them in activities. Put them in places where men has authority and power. That way they will respect the power and the authority in the presence of men. Now, for the girls, I'm a woman. So, of course, my girls will be, so right now, I, I think I've done too much of teaching them how to be girls. Because nail polish, lip gloss. Nail polish, lip gloss. I can't keep that nowhere around where it's reachable. <laughs> okay but if you are a man and you are trying to raise a daughter i would highly suggest that you find mentorship women strong women not women that's teaching their girls how to twerk but women that's giving their daughters books 
That's teaching them how to read. That's teaching them how to sit. That's teaching them how to stand. That's teaching them how to walk. And you find women around your circle, <laughs> women that are a, that you see that's already doing a good job with their daughters, and you try to implement your daughters in their lives. At church, at a family member, with a family member that mm -hmm. you know. So this is how you, 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 you subsidize what you cannot provide. This is how you give what you cannot provide to your child. But honey, do not say, you know, you can do it both. You cannot raise, a woman cannot raise a, cannot tell, mm -hmm. cannot teach a king how to be a king. Mm -hmm. You cannot, because you do not own a throne. Mm -hmm. You are a queen. A man owns a throne, so only a man can teach a king how to sit on a throne. Got it? Same thing for a woman. Vice versa. All right. Anything else, Missy? You got it? I got it. <laughs> no. I got it. So, All right. what I was going to say is, you know, to um, personalize this general topic, I feel as though, personally, I am a... First of all, people misconstrue being a single mom as in being a single parent. Okay. I'm a single, I am a mom that's single, but I'm not a single parent. My child has both her, their, their parents. parents involved. Yes. Okay. That's one. What I teach my daughter, cook, clean, how to respond, try to, you know, veer her in the woman way. Right. There's always going to be a lack. Mm -hmm. That's why they say the daughter's first love is from daddy. Is from her father. That father is going to set the bar for anybody that comes after him. Yeah. I can't set the bar. I have to tell you yeah. what you do when the bar gets set. You better that set it. it. You got to set pretty. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, use your brain. You know, don't marry for this, 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 and this. I could do that. Be like, but daughter, child, but that a ain't father, daughter, that ain't a father will set that bar high so that anybody that got to reach that bar, if they ain't reaching it, she that gonna see it. it. That ain't it. That ain't it. Vice versa, I am raising <laughs> a son. For my son, I can't teach him how. First of all, I didn't even teach him all the way how to pee. Because my, me, I sit down. <laughs> you see, this is how I pee, sitting down. <laughs> Luckily, he had a father and a bonus father. That they stood up, something I couldn't do. And they taught him how to be a boy at the time he needed to be a boy. What mm. I gave him was the affection of a mother. Of a mother, a prideful mother being happy in the moment that he was being in his boyness. Right, right. But I couldn't teach him how to be in his boyness. A man had to teach him that. Right. I could <laughs> boo boo. What? Ow, ow. I could cheer him on. I could be the best cheerleader. I could be the best affection, motivator, I'm going to cater to him in a way. I'll that teach him what love and I'll support teach him, and that's to look like from I'll, a woman. I'll, I'll teach him what, what he... I have to set the bar. Yeah. For the women that's going to come into his, his life. life. Yeah. If I'm showing him that... Hey, baby, you if, do, if she ain't... But, but I didn't need to see. <laughs> I have to show him that, listen, I'm here. And the woman that as well. You, the woman that you need doesn't have to be me. But she should be here yeah. in a certain level. And this is how you need to treat her as well. Because that's exactly. what you're teaching. Both respect. <laughs> or yeah. now, respect, okay? Yeah. So that's where I figured, like, um, for co-parenting. That's mm -hmm. why I co-parent the way that I do. Some women think that, no, I'm not going to send my child to him. You're not taking away from you or that father you're taking away from the growth from and the development the mental of, stability of that child you understand yeah. and i know some people forgive me but some people do go to altar because they don't have that 
second in command that yeah. or if it's a father a mother that's present or if it's a mother so they do like how you said find a strong woman and vice versa they'll find a strong man mm -hmm. around them to implement these things in these children's lives yeah. because they know that they're in a deficit or in a lack of yeah. with one being missing awesome. don't 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 keep the child away you're not you're you're stunting their growth yeah you're stunting their growth not height wise but mentality by their gender by the way that they're brought up by what they're supposed to stand by you understand what i'm saying mm -hmm. a lot of and, and forgive me for you know I, I love everybody guys i love everybody i love everybody but a lot of times it's either through abuse or because they were raised in one household that they were deficit that certain people turn out to be you know um, go go get, like go gay or lesbian or certain stuff like that or become you know an addict or, or addict or, or things like that because whatever. of that deficit it's it, it could turn into any different because that deficit it's a lack it's a lack it's a lack you ever heard like somebody would say well you know i have daddy issues you know that's i do I have daddy issues <laughs> no i have daddy issues <laughs> You know, but we have daddy issues because our dad passed away. But no, see, you I know? have worse because at least she knew who daddy was. I Twice. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say the But same. I don't have daddy issues. I don't think I have daddy issues. Maybe you have daddy issues. I don't have daddy I do. Issues. And I know and I realize with my dating patterns, to be honest, with my dating patterns, I need that strong alpha male type of person and it's not to replace my father it's just to um give that stability that, that that stability of a man and and fill in that deficit that was missing that love but that you never got that deficit that was missing <laughs> but in a way of not a fatherly way but now in a manly way because mm -hmm. i didn't have that man stronghold yeah. situation and this is what we hinder from our daughters when we say no you can't go see your daddy or you can't go spend time with your daddy or you can't be around your daddy you think you're doing good because well he ain't paid child support so therefore you ain't gonna go see him so what he ain't paid the child support let the girl go let it go. Hey, what you want to you want to pick her up today? Today, today. Okay, right. Well, that should be ready in like two point two seconds. You, you want your okay, okay. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. Uh, All right. So now let's go towards yeah, some. I don't tips. be taking advantage of these babysitting opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> let's get some tips. Okay, we okay. We talked about. About communication a lot okay so we know already that's like the number one thing to have mm -hmm. would be communication when it comes to co-parenting right so you want to emphasize a little more on communication or you think we basically covered we it? touch base have open communication with your child right um the, with your child's um other parent yeah. it's effective it's essential they won't get away with so much murder if they know that you <laughs> and that um um, parents have a sense of communication. Mm -hmm. I promise. Yeah. It took it took a conversation with my son's father to have my son get in line right. because I was on the phone, his father was on the phone, it's and crucial. he was there. It's crucial. And he was like, "Okay, I can't lie to her because he in front." He of already me. know the truth. He can't. I can't yeah. lie to him because she there. Dang. And when, that's you know? why you know. Again, you have to set aside the fact that you having issues or underlining problem with that person your problem with your mate your ex mate your ex man your ex husband whoever whatever or your ex woman whatever mm -hmm. she is for you that is your problem exactly at the time that there is an issue for the child about the child regarding the child you must set aside at all bed. last he pissed you off last week because he Good. didn't pay the child support. Well, right now, we're dealing about these Fs in his grade. Exactly. You understand? Right I now, agree. he's talking back to the teacher. Right now, this is the situation at hand. So you have to be able to separate your emotions, what you got going with that person, and concentrate on with about the child. I agree. So your communication with your that parent is crucial. Mm hmm crucial again you don't have to be friends buddy 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 like i am with my co-parenting you know people but or i want to be but let's, you let's have a level of communication but at least let's start have, right here yeah start, <laughs> start, start right with 
my son needs this my son needs that this is what he's doing this is what he's not doing let's get together let's figure this out and get that communication popping hold on that would be number Michael one young it's like they were in, a, in the conversation oh you had a conversation about this already <laughs> oh okay look at god oh hi fam hi hi okay so yeah so that is definitely number one number one would be communication now yeah. number two healing healing with your co-parenter parenty <laughs> the co -parent. healing heal i'm gonna say it. healing get over it okay the best way to get over it listen listen let me tell you something after a breakup we all get it we get it we understand you've been through breakups before yeah, I've been through breakups before too. <laughs> hey, I've been through. You've been through that a whole, whole, yes. you've been through a whole life divorce. Yeah, I've been through. I've been through one, <laughs> um, and we understand it. We yeah. get it. It it's hurts. Painful. It bothers you. You don't want to see the sight of this man. You want to <laughs> throw him off the cliff. Like, listen, we get it. Who sent you? Exactly. <laughs> but. You have, if, especially if you have children, you better yeah. make that from to you quick. Yeah. You have to go through that healing process even quicker than you would normally when there's children exactly. involved. Because again, you have to be able to use logic and not insane emotion. judgment. And oh, really, that sounds so familiar to me. And really oh, lay out the logic, foundation. Not yeah, really laid out the foundation of what the reason and the purpose of you coming together is about. Jeez. And then at the end of the day, if it takes for you to pray, yeah. if it takes for you to seek the face of God and say, okay, you know what, Lord, this is how I'm feeling emotionally. This is what I'm going through emotionally. I don't really want to talk to this girl right now because I'm ready to like bust her in the head. Yeah. I don't really want to talk to this dude right now because he done pissed me off and I'm about to like slash his tires. Like I, exactly. you know, like I'm really not there with him mm -hmm. and, and, and say, you know what, Lord, I need to move away from this feeling. I really need to move away from this emotional roller coaster that I'm going through so I can move forward with raising these children better for you for the kingdom right yeah. because what we could do sorry sis what we could do which is very easy we can play the blame game all day every day non-stop play the blame game you did it no you did it no you did it no you you cheated no you weren't faithful you you and we could point fingers all the way till we both turn blue and we die at 80 but at the end of the day the children will not get what they need yeah they will not get what they need until we heal from the past. Yeah. We heal from the things that bother us. That's why for me, friendship is important. Because, because that, that's a sign of indication I get of you. That we have healed. It's the mm. sign for me that we have come to a place where we know that I'm not your enemy and you are not mine. I'm not there to hurt you, neither do I trust that you're there to hurt me. Especially if you've moved on, especially if you have your girl already, you have your wife, you have your thing going, you got your own life popping. Why would I want to be your enemy? Why would I want to be bitter towards you? No reason. No. Okay, that's her way of healing. My way of healing... It's a whole diff. It's not a whole different way. I'm not gonna say. If I'm harboring you in my heart, at a point in time, I was harboring a lot of people at one time in, your in my life. heart. Like yo, like it was serious. Like I was harboring too many people in my heart at one time. You was just you was bag lady. Bad lady. You you missed your bust a couple of times. I missed that thing <laughs> all the time. Yeah. Um, but. My way of healing was definitely first to release them. Was your feet? I was to release them out of my heart. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing I needed to do, and that came with a sort of a sense of forgiveness, forgiveness in them, and forgiveness of myself. Whatever that I contributed to feeling that right. way. Because some people, like she said, likes to point the blame game. Y'all don't like to see y'all own faults. Like, right. yo, y'all got faults. That Why y'all ain't make it? Sometimes it's probably yeah. more you than it was them. And yeah. they just have to get out of your toxic yeah. situation. Yeah. So, in order for me to have to heal, I had to release them out of my heart. Forgiving 
wholeheartedly. Yeah. Not like I right, I forgive you and then turn around and be like that that, that. No, like really truly forgive. And like, that's for, when forget. you know that you have forgiven and you for not not forgot, but you forgive. Forgiven. You when you healed. can speak about the person and only wish them the best. Yeah. And when you can say, "Hi, how are you? How was your day?" and mean it. I ain't gonna mean that because I don't, <laughs> the reason why I don't mean it is because I don't care. Like the the reason I don't mean it is because I don't care. I don't right. care how your day is. But, but healing but I'm is glad you were alive. You know because that's healing important to my kids. Major. Healing is major for me. Healing is major, major, major. Again, I have to be able to have that kind of communication with you where I know it's beyond just flaw, just like hi. Okay, we got it. Mm -mm. Jessica says, <clears throat> people need to put their ego aside, make the focus uh, make the focus healing and the children. The fact remains, the relationship is over facts. Also, there's a big difference between blending and co-parenting. No, yes, there's a difference. Co-parenting is you, the, the two people that birthed this child, coming and blending is and the two families that's coming, coming together. together. In the, for the sake yeah. of the child. We did a show for Blending Family a couple of weeks back. If you family. go into the Walk Talk page, Jessica, you can watch that if you'd like. Um, yeah, it was pretty much, I, I think maybe a couple months back, we did a show on Blending Family, on Merging Family. Merging family. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so next one. Finding common grounds and common goals for the sake of the children. Facts. That is crucial. Yeah. Like... What I see happen sometimes when parents are co-parenting is that, let's say for an example, the mom say, you can't wear that outfit. They'll go to, well, you can't buy the outfit. And then they'll call daddy, daddy, my mama say I can't buy the outfit and daddy goes and buy the outfit. I did. I, I. <laughs> we have to have common goals and common plans and, yeah. and common things where Implemented it comes on both to ends. raising a child together. I agree. I agree. <laughs> child, it, it happens so often. Nah, not in my house. Oh, um, listen, Brian can't. He, I took all his junk. What you gonna do at your house? You gonna take all your junk away to bed? Brian yeah. got Brian got this 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 on his grades. It ain't looking nice. What you gonna do? Okay, he can't do it. Too. What's his bedtime over there? Okay, he can't have this bedtime over here. All right, bet. Yeah. You have to come to a balanced lifestyle where both parents are agreeing on the same thing. But that was early on. We we discussed that earlier on. But not everybody have that kind of communication where they discuss that. It's kind of like when you at my house, you do as I say. When you at your mama house, you do as your mama say. But there's not really the rules that merges together for the mm -hmm. sake of raising that child properly. Right. It doesn't exist. Right? So that is something that you definitely have to work on when you're co-parenting. You do not want to have two different ways that you're raising. Because it's going to be one big confusing bowl. Well, I'm going to go to my mama house and I'm going to play the food I got here. A ten dollar, and I'm going to play. I got a 10 o'clock curfew at my mama house. But my daddy house, I got a ten, 9 o'clock curfew. Well, I was... <laughs> Well, my mama said I can't play video games. I can't play Fortnite at her house, but I'm gonna go to my daddy's house and you play Fortnite to, all day. Yeah, you gotta have a lot of common, com common goals and common plans that will work together for the good of that child. Yeah. Not just because you know, well, she won't this and she no. It's not again. It's not about the parent. It's about the child. Yeah. If putting them to bed at ten o'clock benefits the child for the both of you better than it is, then ten o'clock it is. Mm -hmm. And and if you don't agree, have conversation. Again, open communication. Right. Well, you know what? She's thirteen now. Maybe nine o'clock is a little early. You know what about we push it till ten o'clock? Bet. We do it ten o'clock now. I know I put bed out there. <laughs> We're doing 10 o'clock. So that's she why it has good. to be common. It has to be common and you both have to be on the same page. Same page. Same. People in the back say page. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Y'all been say page. Your children will definitely play you. And, and they will play you like a little roller. Well, my, my mama said, and then my daddy said, and my mama said Ooh, I could have bought yes. those shoes. And my daddy said I could have bought them shoes. And the next thing you know, now you fighting. You, you, your parents, parents are fighting. fighting because the damn child done put a wool over both y'all heads. <laughs> 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 
No. Communicate and make sure that the goals are equal. The goals are equal and the plans are equal. Okay, visitation plans. Visitation. I have a set visitation plans for for, for, for my kids from uh see they say plans. (laughs) See that you are point (laughs) Um so my children are gone at a certain time come back at a certain time both of them leave at the same time together come back at the same time together right. it's clockwork so it's agreed it you. works it it functions correctly yeah. yeah anything outside of that is a simple discussion a simple conversation hey i need x y and z this day and age hey no problem i ain't doing nothing bro could you take both of them like bro <laughs> like i i'm just that lenient with right. them you know because i understand like i'm not gonna harbor my kids if i'm not doing something and they could have a better opportunity with um their fathers mm-hmm. uh, but at the same time you know we do have a structured situation yeah. if it's legal because some people it's legal well it's right? not even so much legal. legal it was agreed upon then then then, then keep your legal legality yeah keep agreement. your legal agreements going keep your legal um um schedules going and your plans going that way there's no you know Mr. issues Screw. legally right because yeah. you don't want that but if it's not legal it's not legal Mine's make not legal. a plan do something. Yeah, mine's not legal. It just works. No lie. Well, because this is what can happen, right? Let's say, and then you have to keep the plan that you make. You cannot, because this was something that I encountered in my co-parenting issue, is that... <laughs> <laughs> you got to say it like that, though. <laughs> it's flip-flopping. Like, flip, like, one, one day, like, yeah, I'm one day, I'm going to take it in the next Nah, nah, I'm busy. I got to do... No! It don't you work like, like that, homie. <laughs> like, if it's Tuesdays and Thursdays, keep your Tuesday and Thursday. If it's Friday and Saturday, keep your Friday and Saturday. And that way, everybody know what they're doing and they can really plan for that child. Yeah. You can't be flip-flopping. Parents, co-parents, you got to stay on schedule. That sounds like it face. came from the heart, though. <laughs> That sound like it came from the heart. Y'all don't feel that? People in the back, did y'all really feel that though? Like, did no, y'all really? really, truly, really, truly. You have to create a schedule that the kids also know as well. Because you don't want to keep a routine that they are good with, that they're familiar with, that is not having them confused. Because if they're like, okay, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, that's my day Sorry. with daddy. They plan to have those days with daddy. They plan to have those days with mommy. So now when you're like, nah, daddy say, nah, not today. And or oh, when, when am I going to next week? Now they miss the whole Tuesdays and Thursdays. And then if next week daddy can't do it now, it's in the next week. And then now it's a whole month. And you ain't seen your kids in a whole month. Let me tell you how my daughter is. Bruh, she, on Saturday, mind you, on Saturday, she'll be like, mommy, when do I go to my daddy house? I said, when do you go to your daddy's house? She's like, on Tuesdays. I said, okay. She's like, how many days do I have this? What just... I, they kind of, and the kids are looking she forward to it. She can't do it. They look forward to those days. No matter what, they look forward to those times. They, they look forward to those days. They make plans. They start packing their bags mm-hmm. if they are at age, putting their little underwear in the bag. Like, okay, I got my shoes. I got my underwear. They, they start they packing. They, they today. know. So then she's like... What comes after Sunday, mommy? Monday. What comes after Monday again? Tuesday. Ooh, Tuesday. <laughs> That's the day. Tuesday. And imagine now with all that anticipation. Patient, and then if he goes, well, I can't pick up this week. Then I'm gonna be like, baby, your daddy can't have you today. Your daddy can't have you on Thursday. That girl, so it, then that means it had to see it, him no, next and it, week. No, it happened because he had to go out of town for whatever um, reason. If it's and, a and out of town reason, it. that's... No, no, but you can see it goes for the sake of... You could see her face like, huh? what are you doing here picking me up, mom? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, but so we don't want to do that. We yeah. don't want to do that to our children. We don't want to get them hyped up about seeing you. And, and then, then they don't. Yeah, you're messing up their psyche, man. You're, you're really messing up with them, guys. You really are. Okay, last one. Financial support. Child support. <laughs> money support. I ain't got nothing to say. My baby daddy's good. <laughs> <laughs> what you got to say? <laughs> my, my, now, my, my children's fathers are okie doke. Whenever it comes to discuss money, 
people always feel some type of way. You tell a man with, well, you know, you that's see, child support, they're like, well, the support's not for the kids. It's You're for using mommy. it for mommy. Mommy's getting her nails done, her hair done. Mommy's buying new cars. Mommy's, you know, what else do they say mommy's be doing? Mommy's getting plastic surgery. Getting plastic surgeries. That mommy's, you know, they doing this, they doing that. Okay, I'm going to say this. The psyche of a mom, especially if it's the mom, or the psyche of the caretaker, let me put it this way. The main caretaker. The main caretaker. Uh -huh. The psyche of the caretaker, rather it's a woman or a man. The financial support that you give into that household, even if it is used for that person to put gas in the car, guess where and who takes the kids, where they need to go, how they need to go, and the caretaker. Mm -hmm. If the person needs a new car, they go and they buy a new car. Why is it an issue that the person went to buy a new car? Again, who is taking these kids up and down, doctor's appointments, doctor visits, running to the mall, going to pick them up, drop them off at school, running here, running there, doing... The caretaker. I'm sorry. Caretaker. So when you use those type of excuses that... Oh, they're doing this, they're with the money, they're doing that with the money. Or even if she's going out and go grab a drink, so what? Maybe she needs a drink after dealing with your kids for seven days out of that week and you ain't pick them up not one day. Maybe she need a little time out, a little exit. So what if she go get some massage? Maybe she needs a massage just so she can relax, relate, and release. Sheila said... Um, you know that this lasts with the children into adulthood. My husband has a strong dislike of his dad because he toyed and yo-yoed with them. Yeah. Listen, whatever happens, this... Wait, wait, wait. In this household is what happens in this household. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I... But with the finances, you cannot make the excuse that you're not being a provider to your children for their needs because you quote unquote making the statements that the, the funds are going to be used towards the parent Thank you, rather Angie. than the children. I agree. But here's my thing with, um, because there is that, there is where, you know, if you, you're the main caretaker and all of that. And I have to play devil's advocate in this too. Some people do abuse the money that the fathers or the money that the mothers the are caretaker. the, the, the uh -huh. caretaker is contributing um is, is receiving from some people will go and do their hair their nails their pedicure and then turn around and say yo i didn't got money for diapers oh, no. hold up that's that's a whole other subject. hold up scroll up i know i just gave you 150 200 last check where did it go no. or i that's, see that's that's a person that is a manipulator they're abusing the system user, yeah, and a user because there's absolutely no way even if I, if the shoe was on the other foot and i'm paying child support and you know sponsor support or what well child support for, um to say and then you're calling me a week later telling me that the child these shoes need clothes need no you can't no 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 i'm talking about people that are actually taking care no, of their children no that's what i'm saying i said i have to play devil's advocate because okay. there are some people yeah and that's why some people don't want to give them people money because at the end of the day they rather buy the diapers or they rather buy the, the clothes okay if or they rather buy the you know person then yeah then they yeah. rather buy it because yeah. they already noticed when you put money in this person's hands it's gonna be they're gonna stores. you see the dude rocking in jays and a new whole outfit fitted on cap all that good stuff with the jersey on and then he go and bust out yo but i ain't got money to put her in some clothes like hold up hold up that ran you 300 right there I think this is where my money went to just now. <laughs> I need you to go back and return to Cinder. Yeah. Get your money back exactly. that I just Sheila. gave you. Sheila said that's an irresponsible parent. Those type of women are disgraced. Yes, yeah. my child is, yeah. Priority. priority. Some people misplace the priority and of you the can money. See it too. You and they can do see it, it intentional because they know, especially those people that take advantage of those parents that they know they will do and die hard for their kids. Yeah. They are just 
run over them like whatever because yeah. they feel as though they can because it's their child. Well, you don't love your kid because I just spent all your money and now I need more and you ain't giving to put for your kid. No. Like people no, no, no. actually that does. Is- that they is do really, get suckered really into possible. that. They That's, do get suckered into that only for the sole reason of their children. Mm-hmm. Like I, I can't do. Not in a go. So we're going to the courthouse, bro. Let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. We're gonna, we gonna change the custody like right, right now. now. <laughs> so yeah. So that would be another thing I know that we battle is definitely child support and and um you know financial support to our children. So again, devil's advocate. Don't be using that money, ladies and gentlemen. To, act- to go do your own thing and then come back and say you ain't got nothing for these children. But if you, if you are need to take like $10 here, $20 if there. If you are no. taking care of your children, if you are holding it down, if you are the type of parent that is taking that financial support and you're taking care of the kids and it's evident Ev- that you are pouring that financial stability or that financial uh, um, um, gift to the children, then of course, if you are keeping yourself looking right, if you are, you know, doing certain things for your own psyche, for your own state of mind to be good so you can raise these children, then that is acceptable. Okay. Um, so lastly, mm-hmm. are we going to do a final? You want to do the last question? Step people's. We could say that. We, we could, could say that. that. Okay. All right. So our last question is, what are some rules for step parents when it comes to the co-parents, co-parenting, step people? Step parents, for instance, if I had a dude, all of that good stuff, right? That step parent, right? Uh-huh. Support your significant other to be the best parent that they can be. Period. If you see you're with a woman that ain't, I don't want to say giving two hells, but <laughs> if you see she ain't doing the best in that child's life with co parenting, help her or help him find a better avenue to co parent because. That just shows the type of woman or man that you are. If you could sit back and watch somebody that you're loving and you're dating treat their child like they don't exist or non-existent, not contributing, not doing anything, and you're just sitting down and realizing this and you're not doing anything about it, bruh. Anything about it, sus. That goes to show who you are too. As well, yeah. That goes to show that you would just, you, you, how Rose said it, I can't say it, but say it. what Rose said, this, this, <laughs> that means you this, this too. Because at the end of the day, you're, if you're the better half, be the better half. Yeah. You do have to <laughs> step in and if you see something is not going right, if you see that, let's say for an example, you're in a relationship with a woman and the woman is um, is reluctant to releasing the child to an, an, a parent that wants to be active, active, uh, 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 active that parent. wants to be participating in that child's life. And you see, she's like, nah, I ain't letting my child, I don't know. And, and, and you know that that child, it's not because the child is going to be in danger. It's just because she's being it's spiteful. It's just a spiteful move. It's you just, should be the one to say, you have to nah, you it. wrong, bruh. Because guess what? Let me tell you something, fellas. Why, why he got to say it like that? Why he be nah. like, darling, you know, I really Nah, you wrong, know. bruh. Go, <laughs> go ahead and get out there and tell her this daddy, her huh, daddy, whatever. Because let me tell you what happens, though. Because people will sit back and watch it, and they have kids with the same woman, mm-hmm. and have kids with the same man, and guess what they're going to do to you? The same thing you see them doing today, baby daddy, before. Yeah you and the baby daddy before them yeah. they're gonna do the same thing they're gonna, gonna, gonna sit there and be like cycle. they're gonna sit there and be like oh yeah, yeah. you thought i was gonna do you different yeah nah bro and, I ain't, and it's I, just not so much as as the cycle continuing but also the cycle will continue for the children again this is not about the parents guys co-parenting is not about you and i think this is the part oh. that i really have to like emphasize and i have to dig into you know our heads tonight Co-parenting is not about the parents. It's only solely about breathe, eat, children, sleep, children, children. This is for the betterment of the children. 
especially if the man wants to partake and wants to be part of that child's life, especially if that woman wants to be part of that child's life. And then if you are a step parent and you're watching that mother not wanting to be part, or even vice versa, let's say if it's a man that you, a lady is with a man and you see he, he does not want to be part Aww, of that child's life. You better tell that nigga, listen. Nick. Listen. Oh, she because, was free. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Because this is like personal for me. I recall being in that situation when I was like, wait, where's your kids? Why I haven't seen you with your children? I've been around you for like three months now. I haven't seen you introduce or be around, talk, call, act. Where, where's your kids? I know you got kids. You, where I saw are the they? <laughs> The ones that you posted through, it's going. Like you want to wait? You want to hang out with me and my kid? Where's your kids? Like, why you want to hang out with mine? Stephen said, "Step parents should be mature enough to check the neglect, um, the neglect, the exactly. ne- negligent parents." Sorry, Pete, my anglep I go good today. Um, me personally, I can't be with anyone who's not parenting their kids See, properly. See, there you go, Sheila. I just said that. You know, like I cannot possibly be with someone that I know that you have children and you're not being around them. You want to take my kids to the park, but your kids sitting at home Home. inside of somebody's house somewhere, probably just playing video games all day. But you want to play nice to me and take my kids to the park? No, boo boo. No. Go get your kids. Then you can come and get my kids. Then we all all go go to to the the park. park. You feel me? So when you are a step parent, you cannot be one of those parents that you're lackadaisy, you're sitting back and you just being observant and you just like, hmm, well, that's her life. That's what she's doing. She knows her man. No, 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 no. no. Be active as well. Part of the whole situation. Okay, be active, be active and be a participant within the whole thing. All right. So, Jenny, anything else you want to say? Also, co-parents. That's what is it? Set parents to the co-parenting situation. Uh huh. Also, con <laughs> Y'all know what that means? Let me say it in English for the people in the back. Know your r- role. role. Know your place. Know your position. You're not the quarterback. You're the... <laughs> know your position. I can't stress it enough. Know your position. Okay, tell them what their let me position tell you, is. Let me tell you what your position is. As a step parent within a co-parenting situation... You do not make, unfortunately, especially if there are two active parents, you do not, you cannot make, even though it might be at a good, um, kind hearted gesture or, or, you know, whatever the case may be, you can't make certain detrimental decisions of that child's life without following suit, without talking to the parent that you're with. And if it's that detrimental without having an agreement of that second parent. Okay. I saw this thingy on Facebook, Nancy. No lie. Why can't I be the quarterback? You ain't the quarterback, <laughs> man! I saw this thingy on um, this post on, um, on Facebook, right? So the mom sent her daughter to her dad's house. Girl, little girl... Pretty, pretty little girl has some curly suit hair, Nancy. I'm talking about, wait, 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 curl, curl, curl. Wait, wait, ain't no drop of little straight hair nowhere. It was curls everywhere. Long hair to the back. Curls just everywhere. She sends her daughter to the doggone daddy's house. Daddy, she picks her daughter up. The daughter got short, straightened hair. Mm-hmm. The stepmama done perped the girl hair. Oh, I, I saw that. I thought, what? I saw that. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. That was crazy. Hmm. Oh, Lord. She's so dramatic. Why is so dramatic? I was sissy for the mom. Yeah, that was definitely... I was surprised for the mom. Because at the end of the day, step stepmom should have discussed it with the dad. 
the dad should have discussed it with because I heard the girl was a product person like she um the little girl did like pictures and stuff on yeah. Instagram she was like a yeah. little pretty a little, model. little model and her hair was her her, her trademark and now they done perm I, I and think cut that perm. was vindictive. I feel it though it was, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> know your role. You can't make judgment calls like that, boo boo. Yeah. Listen, yeah, there that, is a if I would have came, really thin line. If I would have, if if it was me and what, and, and, and then I would be wrong for coming to your house and whooping your behind because of why? Because you ain't know We're your safe. role. I mean, I would have called you on the phone and prayed with you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my goodness. But <laughs> overall, guys, overall, everybody has a role in raising the ch a child, right? <laughs> everybody has a role. Everybody has a role to Gina! play. Rather you are the co parent, rather you are the step parent, right. rather you are the auntie, the, 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 the cousin, the, know the your grandma. role. Everybody has a role to play, but everybody has a little more role that they can play than others. Know your role. Okay? But definitely, your number one role as a step-parent in this co-parenting thing is exactly to show 100% support. And when you see something is just not, not right, right, check it. You need to let her know, hey. Or him know, hey. Or let him know, hey. You need to go check on your kids. You need to hey, do for your kids. You need to go ahead and stop. I got enough tennis shoes here. You need to go ahead and buy your kids yes, some tennis stop shoes. Stop buying me some things. You know, it's cute that you're trying to impress me, but your kids might need some things. Go check to see what they need. Like, you have to be that bigger woman that says... And to be honest... You need I to be a better parent. And to be honest, for me, I will not date a man that doesn't do for his kids. Of course not. I can't. I won't. Of course I, not. If I don't see you striving or doing what you need to do, of even if you're not. like... If it's hard for you to do it, if it, that that makes me that draws me to you more when I know it's hard for you to do it, but then you still do it because you know that is priority. And you know, I'm like, dang, bro, if you could do that all for your son, yeah, what more you could do for no mirror? You feel yeah. me? <laughs> Alright, so let's um go ahead and do our final thought. I think we covered quite a bit tonight. Oh, you give final thought. I swear. Yes, yes. Okay, yes. bump. Keep it short. It's already like 10 30. Alright, bro. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> drop mine off to my mama. Yes, I did. Okay, perfect. Oh, uh, uh, so <laughs> final thought of the day. Mm -hmm. Co parenting can be hard. Mm -hmm. Co parenting is a situation that you will have to deal with. If you decide to have children with somebody and you guys either split or y'all wasn't together, y'all break up, whatever the case may be, understand that there is going to be some emotional ties in the beginning, but eventually those will filter through. You have to ask God to break those chains, ask God to break those ties, those um, spiritual ties, those soul ties, and then after healing, Make it your priority to know how to speak with the person, not argue with the person, not mention the past with the person, not fault them for the past with the person. Speak with the person, especially when it's a detrimental conversation such as your children. Make your children, your child, the priority, period and point blank. It's no longer about you. I know it sounds so redundant to hear that it's no longer about you since you've been pregnant, but literally <laughs> it's no longer about you. Leave your feelings, leave your emotions, leave what he did to hurt you and what she did to hurt you at the door at the door you're not gonna walk into your job at a somewhere that's paying you a nine to five you're not gonna walk in the job and if that boss done tried you on an email you ain't gonna walk to the boss and be like man i can't deal with you i can't talk you're not because you want to get paid so treat it as such. You want to get paid. The payment that you get from this situation is watching your child grow. Having that child have a healthy, stable mindset. Understanding that two parents are more effective than one. Mm -hmm. Understand that. You ain't going to go do certain things at your job. Don't do it in your personal life either. Don't bring the mess to your front door. Don't bring the mess to my front door. 
because the only point of topic that we have now that we have decided to co-parent effectively is our child. Whatever I did to you, whatever you did to me, it don't matter. Because we're not talking about the past. I'm not trying to get back with you. You're not trying to get back with me. If we're trying to fix each other, then okay, let's talk about the past. But if it's not that and we're leaving each other alone and it's about the child, let it be about the child. Don't punish me or don't punish him or don't punish her for the sake of what y'all had in a relationship with the child. That's one. Okay. Second thing, do not punish the child by separating that child from that other parent. Don't punish the child. Child didn't ask to be here. Don't punish him or her. All the child wants is the love that a mother can give and the growth that the father can give. Some people, and I don't know why I'm saying this, but some people tend to feel as though they're sufficient enough to give the love and the stability. When you get to that point... It's like saying I'm perfect. Ain't no gosh darn it per person perfect <laughs> in this earth. Walking this earth. The only perfect person was Jesus mm -hmm. that walked this earth. That can say if I stay with Jesus, I know I'm going to get love and affection and everything I need from him. Because that living water, I ain't going to thirst. Mm -hmm. But when you come to man who was born into sin... Who probably sin every day. Mistakes. Who make mistakes. Who pray for forgiveness just like everybody else. You are not perfect. So that means you are lacking something. And God makes sure he put in somebody else what you are lacking. That's why it takes a village. Mm -hmm. It takes a village. If you think you know everything, trust me, you don't. If you think you hold everything, trust me, you don't. There's something in you that's lacking that your brother, your sister, your mama, that baby daddy you don't like, the baby mama you don't like, yo, is going to have and is going to benefit that child of being raised. So please, please don't be that person to think that you are sufficient enough when you know that you are lacking more than you're saying. AP. And co-parenting, uh, uh, step-parents of the co-parent, know your role. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got to say to y'all. Know your role. Just be support. Just root us on. Oh help us. Goodness. Help us. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Well, again, Jenny, that was beautiful. Thank you for a great final thought. Um, as for me, um, as always, as always, as always, before I say my final thought, and I'm just going to say a big, big thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for, you know, watching, for taking the time. Some of you have been on here the entire show. Thank you for watching. And we appreciate the love. We appreciate the share. If you have not shared, please do share this message. You never know who will be blessed by this, who will be touched by this. You never, ever really know. <laughs> so be sure that um, you share this message to someone that might benefit from this as well. Yeah. All right. So as for me, I will say this. Um, this subject is something that is personal to me and I think personal to Jenny as well because we are living it. We are partaking in this as we speak. Um, doing a good I job. am, I am a mother of five, as most of you guys know, if you don't know, you just found out I'm a mother of and two. being, um, you know, single moms, we are not single parents. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it takes two in every situation. It took two to make them. You were not married. You did not wake up one day with an angel telling you, you shall be birthed. A child and you shall call him Tommy, Susan, Mary, <laughs> James. It took a partner, someone that at one point or another, hopefully if it was not in a situation where there was some type of abuse that took place where you well, conceived a child. But regardless if it was a one night stand or not, it was something that you agreed upon unless it was forced upon you. Mm -hmm. 
you agreed to lay down with that particular person rather the circumstances was something that was moral or not rather it was someone that you were married to or not but either way it was a decision that you both made together when you laid up with one another and eventually end up with a child so once this child come into play we have a responsibility towards this child again it's beautiful when we are married and we are living in a sanctity of a marriage where God is <clears throat> blessing and moving in that yeah. relationship. And that's why God said, you know, he does not want us to fornicate and to live in sin and to partake into a sinful life because of situations like this. Mm -hmm. This is the very thing that God is trying to stop Perfect. us from going through. This hurt, this pain between us and our children being fatherless and so on and so forth or motherless and not being in the same household. This is what God was trying to prevent yeah the right here but for most of us we made mistakes we live life and we've made decisions unfortunately some have was born into marriages but eventually had to um, be divorced and right. separated where now you do are back at point one where you mm -hmm. are still having to co-parent so all of that is understandable the part that again I want to emphasize more on anything that you've heard us saying all night long is for you to understand that the foundation that you are placing and you're, you're, you're installing into your children have to be something that will make that child grow to be the best woman and the best man right. that they can be. This is not about you. Co-parenting is not about you. The target is to your for your children not to be a statistic. Correct. The whole thing is for you to not have a child pregnant at 16, 17, saying I had daddy issues. My daddy was not in my life. I'm 12 years old. I'm 13 years old. I'm already sexually active because daddy was not active. You see where I'm going with this? We do not want to be part of the statistics anymore. That's so we do not want to be involved in the knowing that our children are being hurt, are being killed, are being murdered, are being stabbed, are being attacked because we did not give them a foundation that was strong enough to sustain them through their childhood, their middle age, and into their adulthood. Very often I hear this. My daddy was not around. My mom was not around. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to love because my mom never taught me how to love. Right. I don't know how to show a woman how, I don't know how to treat a woman right because I've never seen my dad treat a woman right. right. And it's not that daddy never dated another woman. They just was not active in daddy's life long enough to see daddy treat another woman right or vice versa. So being active in your children's life again is to build, is to structure, is to grow and to teach them how to be a better man and a better woman in today's society. Right. I agree. It is not about you. It is not about if you can get along or not with the person that you laid up with, that you had this child with. Bypass all of that. Heal, 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 heal. That's why I brought the subject of healing into this. Because when you can heal properly, you can communicate better. You can talk about things into more depth when it comes to the children. It's not just vague surface conversation. Right. You can go into some real nitty gritty about your son, your daughter. When they lose their virginity, you can really sit down and talk about it. <sighs> when they start going through changes, you can sit down and talk about it. Because when you're healed, you're able to overcome a lot of the obstacles that can hinder the communication between you two where it can benefit the Good children. Mm -hmm. You see where I'm going with this? Yeah. Proverbs 22, 6 says, train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. 
who's doing the training? The teachers? His friends? Her friends? What they're hearing in the street to be the right way to be? To be the right way to live? Who is teaching your kids how to be a woman and how to be a man? Who's doing it? Co-parent is highly important. Rather you feel like it or not, do not allow people to teach your children how to be kings and queens. You know your child. That's your seed. Men, that's your seed. Women, that's from your womb. You know that child better than anybody else. Facts. So do not allow other people to raise your children for you, thinking, well, her and the stepdaddy gonna do a better job. No, you are daddy and you are mom. Put aside all the BS, put aside all the drama and start your children in something that is strong. The foundation has to be Christ. Train up a child in the way that he should go and when he grows up, he will not, not depart, from, depart it. from it. Yeah. So start them in the things of God. Start them in the things that will teach them to be better woman and a better man. Start them in the things that, that once they are encountering things in the world, they'll be like, nah, that ain't what my daddy said. Oh, you want to give me that little winky dink little, no, 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 boo boo. I'm a queen. I, I know my daddy taught me how to be treated. My mommy told me how to be treated. When women are offering your sons mediocre love, Nah, I know how to cook. I know how to clean. Don't worry, I got like, that. Nah, nah, what nah, else you nah, got? Nah. You cute. You cute and all, but nah. What else you that got? That pretty face ain't gonna cut it for right? me. Right? What else you got? <laughs> that pretty face. What, what else? And when he come and show up with all, you know, the buff and the money and whatever, she gonna be like, nah, boo. I know, I know, I know how to be loved. My daddy loved me. I know what love look like. I know what it resembles. That's what you're giving to your children. Give it to them. They deserve it. They didn't ask to be here. Hey, Rose, we're calling people out their names all day. <laughs> they didn't ask to be here. Okay? Some... So that is my final thought for the night. Rose says some um, peasants don't I... know how to be queens. And Rose queens. is a, <laughs> so Rose is a mess. So basically, guys, do your best. Do your best. Yeah. Do your best. If you're doing your best for real, for real, it will show in your mm -hmm. children's lives. Agreed. It will show. And you will reap mm -hmm. a very great harvest. You will look back and look at your chip like, yeah, I made that one. That was mine. Yes, honey. But let's wrap up, guys. So thank you so much, everybody. I so appreciate, again, the time, the effort. Me too that you know that that you put forth so how can you reach me and jenny well me myself and i you can always reach me here on my page nancy Bazil, or you can reach me through the walk talk page as well or you can call me directly or text me my number is 305-910-7767 if you'd like to reach me for any type mm -hmm. of um, <laughs> any type of uh, 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 business thing that you need, if you need to get your taxes done, mm -hmm. your amendments done, if you need to um, sign up for the tax class in the business tax development class that I am doing on November 17th and 18th, mm -hmm. if you want to sign up for that, please, please, please do so. And if you need information, you can text me. Again, my number is 305-910-7767. If you have any questions, that's how you can um, contact me. So for Walk Talk, if you have any um, panels that you want to discuss, anything that you want Jenny and I to show up and speak on your panel discussions at church with your children, um, speaking engagements, anything of that sort, you can contact us at Walk Talk with Nancy or again through the walk talk page or my phone number 305-910-7767 be sure to like all our pages here on facebook walk talk 
and on Instagram and Twitter, Walk Talk as well. Jenny, how can they reach you? You can contact me right here. No, I'm not. <laughs> I feel like I'm on an infomercial. Um, no, but you can go ahead and reach out to me here. Hold up, I enjoyed ladies. Oh, it's good night. Good night, Sheila. Thank you. Good night. Um, you could reach me here at Jenny, J E N N I E, my children's keeper. My children's keeper, my kid. No, my children's keeper. Who thought that? Yes. Perfect name for the perfect show today, right? And also, if you want to travel to the next app on Instagram, it's going to be Jenny. No, sorry, no. It's going to be Jen, J E N N, seven, three, eight, nine. Yeah. So you can follow me there. You can follow Eden Dream Services on IG as well, as well as Walk Talk. So you got us all everywhere that you want us, okay? Yes, yes, yes. You got yes. us where you want us. And yes, we enjoy you guys. Thank you guys for joining in. As you guys are signing off, before you get off of Facebook completely, please go ahead and share, share this video. Share yes. it, share it, Hit share, share it. Button Y'all button DMs button must be lit. Sheila, believe it or not, we can't answer that. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's dry. It's no, dry. It's dry. Um, so share this video as much as possible to as many groups and as many individuals as possible so that they could benefit from what you just um watched watch well. today. Um also as you guys are signing off, go to the WOG talk page and like the yes, page like okay? the page we are going to eventually switch the walk talk show to the walk talk page Eventually. so if you do not have that you're not going to get the notifications and you might not be able to see us when we come on so please do like the walk talk page that way when we do convert from the nancy Bazile page to the walk talk page you will be able to catch us all right You'll be able to see us yes guys all right ladies and gentlemen thank you thank you thank you youtubers thank you so much for watching we love you all thank you for your time your energy your F patience do you your, love me you guys are you riding <laughs> Say so you never ever do. Whatever. All right, guys. I hope you learned a lot tonight, and I hope God was able to bless you with some great, great things. All right? I love you all, and good night. Good night, you guys. Good night, good night, good night. Good we night. love you. Peace. Peace, 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 peace.